Hello everybody, this is the Cat Place Games and welcome back to a Crosshide Budget Let's Build. Today we got a six wheeled, huntsman based, really simple um, grinding vehicle. Quite a lot of front of armor here. And we got a simple load of a factor and a, a twin factor and a chart. We can equip, this is for an even lower budget for most people, but we can actually equip ourselves with a fuel barrel fuel tank pretty easily. Pretty much want to leave one gap in front, two gaps in the rear, and you should be good. You can use only one piece of armor here if you want to, or not none at all, if you want to go for a lower um, power score, lower level. If you manage to get these three guns by this level, like you do need a little, you would need a lot of rifle 10, really, if you're not, or you're not going like for those parts. Then you can easily get this thing by level 10 or something. And yeah, it's like, I actually, this thing is actually a little bit of a personal history. I actually used this build myself for grinding back in Battlestar 3 and Close Beta. And at, at some point, like, I got grow, grew so attached to it, like, I would really swap to anything else. Even after I got myself a mammoth. Back then, uh, Tsunami did not exist yet, so I was going for Mammoth, because I was, I'm was i still a heavy cannons fan, but yeah. And uh, I basically slept in the front of here and used it as front armor instead. So yeah, ammo went underneath there, so that's how I went with the split frames, and uh, yeah. Went for a little bit of paint job here, and uh, I'm gonna see you guys all in the first match. First match is going to be on Broken Arrow. Big open map, so uh, we have to watch out a little bit because we are outclassed in terms of range by cannons. I don't expect to see like a lot of very exotic stuff here. I mean, of course, there is a chance we see a Harvester, and uh, this thing will be scared to death to those by those things because, well, they're Harvesters and this thing is not really that tough. But, um, it's burst firing, staying with the pack. That's a lot of work. I got the first one. Ouch, cannons. Go assist. Okay, I'm gonna pull back here. Because I don't want to get shot up by everything that is over there. Use his arms. I'm gonna go around. See if I'm ping some people from the back. And give a little bit more pressure on the enemy team. Okay, use his arms. Uh, he is gonna suicide on me. Ouch. That's where that frontal armor comes in handy. Really, really handy. And there, pretty much everyone died. A freaking tsunami, really? A uh, hurricane, I mean. MVP there. Uh, <laughs> apparently I did so much damage, I mean, only got a few assists, but uh, yeah, I kind of see you guys all in the second match. I only got to do two matches with this thing because there isn't really too much to show. And of course this thing can carry a lot of variety of weapons. You cannot really equip a generator with it efficiently. So 8 energy is really all you're going to be using. Unless you're going to get, uh, end up getting yourself a gas generator. Of course then you get to 11. But I don't know why you want to keep staying with this thing by then. <laughs> I mean I did it but. Not saying you should. Just keep on bringing the hurt. Got a incinerator over here. Let's see where the fire is at. Uh, we might be able to do something efficiently here. Or not. He missed the shot. So, uh. Okay. Get down the drone. 
Ah, oh, come on. Yep, there we go. Triple shotgun and a drone. A little bit too much there. Oh well. I said I'm gonna do too much. Is. So yeah, if you want to go for different loadouts, uh, one that I can advise actually is very simple twin junk bow. And uh, you do want to keep those uh, bumper catch on there. A little bit of protection. It is quite a bit cheaper than the twin junk bow, and uh, until you go to the, tri uh, the triple junk bow on my video, you can you might as well use this vehicle for that. And uh, you can always use synthesis; also works pretty well. You can use sledgehammer, spitfire, or whatever. Not bad either. You can use twin walls, but then you would. I would rather use one where the cabin is in the front and then have the rear area to use the two wasps. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching this short video and I'll catch you guys all later. See ya!